The following is a world class bullshitters exclusive. A few months back, the TMNT film Mutant Mayhem was all the rage. Not because fans were excited for another installment in the TMNT franchise, but because of the controversy surrounding April O'Neil. The new version of the film made April O'Neil black, and that sparked a whole slew of online debates. It got even worse as proponents of the change tried to justify that April was always black because of her perm. Rational people laughed this off, but some less stable individuals kept the debate raging. The film was just released, and while the filmmakers were happy with the change, Playmates, the company who produced the toys, may have gotten cold feet and changed the action figure back to her original skin color, which has some speculating that April will be white in the international version of the film. Twitter was set ablaze with speculation, and this is where WCBS enters the game. After being tagged in a series of tweets about the alleged race swapping, I decided it was time to gas up the WCBS jet and head out into the field. And I was shocked at what I found. But before I roll that beautiful bean footage, today's video is brought to you by me, Jeff Hicks, and my best-selling graphic novel, Stealing Solo. Stealing Solo asks the greatest what-if question of all time. What if a group of disgruntled Star Wars fans kidnap Harrison Ford and force him to remake Star Wars in their basement? That, and a whole lot more, is answered in Stealing Solo, a Captain's parody. Stealing Solo has been called Laugh Out Loud Funny and the greatest Star Wars parody since Spaceballs, and it's available now for a limited time only. Go to StealingSolo.com, which is powered by Shopify, so you get the reward-winning safety and security, and get yourselves a copy today. Once we sell through this limited backstock, I'm going back to the drawing board to bring you the sequel, which parodies Luke Skywalker's Fall from Grace, and finally the closing chapter, which I can't wait to get to, Frankenfisher, the Bride of Solo. And yes, it's exactly what you think it is. So folks, the only way to get that is go to StealingSolo.com right now, get yourselves a copy, and enjoy the greatest Star Wars parody since Spaceballs. Thank you to those who have a copy, thank you to those who will get a copy, and for those who are wandering around the world, it'll be available internationally by August 9th. Remember folks, StealingSolo.com. And now, back to the video. So here I am at Target and I'm on the hunt for those April O'Neils, the race-changing April O'Neils. I heard it's a really rare variant and I'm a collector so I gotta have it. So we can see here we have tons of Ninja Turtles with a Pokemon thrown in for good measure. But let's keep looking. I'm not seeing April here. Uh, well, we got April? No, that's Donatello. All right, not April. Let's keep moving on. So over here we got uh, Raphael, more Donatello, a whole end cap of TMNT stuff. Ooh, walkie-talkies. Those are relevant in the modern age of the cell phone. But hey, I love nostalgia. Now let's see how easy it will be to find April. All right, April is not on this set at all. Um, so yeah, let's look over here on this end cap. We have a whole bunch of TMNT stuff taking me back to my childhood. Speaking of my childhood, this is what I played with growing up. I don't feel too old. I just feel proud. This was some cool shit. Look at the artwork on the back. Yeah, the real turtles. Let's put you back there, Leo. Ooh, the movies. Man, they're really trying to get me to spend some money in this Target. I know it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to resist the urge of the turtle van. Alright, I never had the old turtle van, but there's a good way to start with the new turtle van. Maybe. I don't know. So, let's keep looking for our April O'Neil. I don't see April anywhere. I'm looking. I see TMNT water bottles. Alright, it's a metal bottle of water and it looks like it's $14.99. That can't be right for $14.99. Let's just put you right back. And let's keep looking for April. I know she's going to be here somewhere, right, Leonardo? Oh, good. There's some more TMNT toys. Now, let's see. We got figures, 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 but not an April in sight. Man, people must really want this rare. Oh, there we are. We got the Ooze Cruising figure set with April O'Neil. But wait, that's the Dark April. Nobody wants that one, right? I guess we should just leave the store. Haha, ha, jokes on you, I didn't leave the store because I found both versions of April O'Neil in abundance. So there's the light April O'Neil that everyone on the internet seems to be talking about. And let's look at the other figures that come in the set. And let's scroll down to look at this one. Here's the darker April O'Neil. She's like a chocolatey tone and the other one's like a caramelly tone. Yes, caramel. And let's look at chocolate. 
So both figures are clearly very, very different, and the other figures are all pretty much exactly the same. Let's take a closer look one more time to compare. It's kind of hard, these boxes are very big, so we can't really just hold them up right next to each other, but as you can see here, they're only available at Target. And these boxes are exactly the same, these toys are exactly the same. There's been a rumor online that these things are different for different markets. This is the Chinese release of the figure, and that's the American release of the figure. And well, keep watching into the video or I break it down what the real issue is. But let's look at the back of the box just to see how different everything is. Of course, the Chinese release of the figure is going to be released on American package, right? No. But there we are again. She is quite light here. She looks, uh, maybe like lighter than me. But she's a lot lighter than the version on the box. But the other figure in the box is a lot darker than the picture listed as well. Neither are actually accurate. So before I go, let me just look a little closer to make sure I'm not missing anything because I'm very thorough here at WCBS. We have the Turtles, we have April, the Chocolate Edition, we have more Turtles, and we have April, the Caramel Edition. She kind of looks like Peggy Hill up there, or uh, the girl from the old TMNT cartoon in the news desk. Was it Irma? Something like that? It's been years since I've watched the show. Hi, Donatello. I like your turtle van. So I'm going to look one more time to make sure I'm not missing anything. Let's just keep looking. And look, I'll look at every one. There are a lot of these here. It's not just a few of these turtle vans featuring all the figures. No. There were a lot, and it's about a 50-50 split between Dark April and Light April. Man, that pizza's making me hungry. It's almost lunchtime here. But let's keep looking. And let's put these bad boys back. So let's go back to the office and talk about this a little bit more. Upon seeing the toys for myself, there is definitely a change. Light April and Dark April. It sounds like makeup. There's a reason for the speculation, and a lot of that comes from Star Wars The Force Awakens. The poster for Star Wars The Force Awakens was quite different between the US and China. The Chinese release of the poster saw Finn, played by Yeah Boyega, shrunk down to almost nothing. This sparked an outcry of racism against China. Similar controversy would arise from Black Panther and other films with a black lead. There was speculation online that this was the same thing happening with The Little Mermaid, with many making videos about how Ariel's skin color was changed to blue for the Chinese IMAX poster. In reality, it was the same as the U.S. release. With a history of Chinese racism, will April O'Neil be changed to appease the Chinese box office? My guess is no, but the April O'Neil action figure has been changed. She is a lot lighter, but the whole situation may not be exactly what you think, or what others are painting it to be. The April O'Neil situation is what the toy industry calls a running change. Running changes have been around for decades. I'll spare you a history lesson, but I'll take you back to vintage Star Wars toys. The vintage Star Wars line has a lot of running changes on figures. Han Solo had two different heads, the Jawa's cape went from vinyl to cloth, the Ugnaughts went from red smocks to blue smocks, and Lando Calrissian went from no teeth to painted teeth. But the most interesting part about Lando isn't his teeth, but the fact that his Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi figures both have the April O'Neil issue. Yes, Lando went from a much darker skin color to a lighter one. Now, unless there's a Chinese version of the Empire Strikes Back where Lando is played by Warren Beatty, I don't think this is an indication of race swapping. Manufacturers make changes all the time to toys. They're not just skin color changes. Lots of changes happen, including what part of the figure they paint versus what part of the figure they mold in a special colored plastic. And also in terms of painting, sometimes they'll spray Indiana Jones a beard, sometimes they won't, leading to a lot of ugly and inconsistent figures. And usually both versions are out at retail at the same time. The interesting part here is that there is an equal number of light skinned figures and darker skinned figures. Some are speculating that this is an error and these figures are meant to be released exclusively in China, but I don't believe that. Upon doing a little research online, there aren't Target stores around the world. Target only operates in the United States as of this year, and there are 1,959 stores in the US, according to their website. So with this figure being exclusive to Target, and the fact that there are no Targets in China, this whole thing falls apart rather quickly. If you look at the April O'Neil Funko Pop, you'll see that the skin color is somewhere in the middle. The original dark version of this figure is in fact too dark, the new one is in fact too light. If there's a third release, it'll be like Goldilocks and be just right. But do kids even care? April's not in the regular line of figures, you have to get her in the exclusive pack at Target. Maybe the corrected version will be found in Ollie's next month, who knows? 
As of tomorrow, we'll know if April was changed for the Chinese release of the film, as it drops in China on the 11th. And if that's the case, then the producers have some explaining to do. But as for now, that's the story of April O'Neil and her ever-lightening skin tone. So what do you think about this one, folks? Tell me down in the comments below. Like I said, there are definitely two color changes, but this toy is not going to get released in China through Target, at least, because there is no Target abroad. And yes, some retailers get different exclusives in different countries, but TMNT... Target, and all this stuff that everyone's talking about, I don't believe that's the case. I believe that the case is it's just a running change. That's where there's 50-50% split in the stores. Maybe one factory produced it one way, and another factory produced it another way. It happens all the time in toys, and if you're a collector like I am, well then you know that's the case. So folks, if you want more content like this, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to WCBS, and remember folks, when it comes to content talking about toys, nobody does it better than WCBS. So folks, I gotta get out of here, but I'll be back next time with more. And by next time, I mean tonight at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the World Class Bullshitters podcast that you should be watching each and every Thursday night. We are the epitome of pop culture, and tonight we got a great episode for you. And if you're listening to this in the future, and it's no longer Thursday, well, check out our archives. We're on episode 369 tonight, and it's gonna be a blast. So folks, thank you for watching. Be smart, be safe, be cool. Be on the lookout for all the running changes of all your favorite toys, but always be excellent to each other.